Hello, everybody, and happy Pozzoli Day. Yeah, George. Folks, guess what? We have snow in Paradise Creek. Yeah, there's the duckies out there. <laughs> yeah, we knew it would show up sooner or later. Yeah. Anyway, folks, it took me a while to get going this morning. <laughs> Several things happened. But right off the bat, because I don't know how long my GoPro is going to last before it shuts itself off for some goofball reason, I'm going to say, remember to stay safe. Wash your flippers often. That just in case it shuts off before the end. Now you've already had the end. We can give you the middle. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yesterday was my anniversary. And I opened my anniversary card from my beautiful wife. Eva sent me a lot of pictures from our happy day. Yes. There's the preacher and Eva and I. And there's our very first kiss. And there's Eva with a big smile on her face right afterwards. Yes. And this was Eva and I. Yes. At the Oktoberfest over a year ago. Folks. I'm going to be uploading a video in a couple of days of me and George taking Eva to the airport to fly away on March the 14th last year. George and I drove her to the Duluth airport to fly home. And we had no way of knowing that a year later we still have not seen his mommy. Yes, <laughs> I'm, I've got a video of George saying goodbye to her in the Duluth airport. That's a separate video, and I'll be putting that up. And I had no way of knowing that was going to be the last time I was going to see her for over a year. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your thoughts and prayers on getting her home to me. But yesterday was a very important day to us, and we have celebrated it from the opposite sides of the planet. And that's just not right. I'm having a hard time trying to understand why the system is broken. <laughs> I don't want to bring politics into anything. I, I don't like politicians on either side of the aisle. The system is broken and I don't know how to fix it. And the politicians are the big problem. <laughs> they don't want to fix the problem because they want to blame each other for the problem. They created the problem, and then they want to blame each other because it's not fixed. And I got all kinds of things that I'm wound up about. When I first built this room here, my beautiful little room, somebody said, Oh, you need a real door so you can have a lock. Well, there's a lock on this door. There is a lock on it. I can lock it from the inside. But locks are for honest people. It doesn't matter what kind of a door you put on there. If a bad guy wants in, he's going to find a way to break the glass and stick his arm in there and unlock it and come in. One of the things that's broken about our system right now is juries going way out of reality. If a bad guy breaks into my house and breaks that glass and cuts himself, 
breaking into my house, the jury will probably award him $7 million because my glass broke it, <laughs> cut him when he reached through my door to open it. And that's just, that's, <laughs> it just boggles the mind how they can think of this kind of stuff and how they can find a homeowner liable for the, for the injury to the bad guy. I, I, it boggles the mind and I don't know how to fix this. We have bad guys around the world coming here, exploiting our southern border. 300,000 of them invaded this country in December alone. One month, over 302,000 people invaded this country. They didn't file any paperwork before they came here. Eva filed paperwork, and she's still sitting in Germany waiting. It boggles the mind how this system catches 300,000 people and then turns them loose on the street and how illegal immigrants managed to assault two police officers and were released from jail without bond and boarded a bus to go to California where they'll get free health care. It boggles the mind. Anyway, I, I do not want anybody placing blame on any particular political party, this is, I'm going to enforce my, my rule that we not be playing politics here. I'm playing reality. Folks, the system is broke, and I don't like either side of the aisle. Both sides are... <laughs> playing a game with American lives and American people and American tax money. They pay themselves well and form a gridlock in Washington, D.C. with packing nine different programs into one bill so that nothing gets done. Our immigration system is broken. It needs to get fixed. They need to do one thing at a time. Work on the immigration and fix it. And work on everything else one thing at a time. Don't stick nine different things all into one bill and spend months doing nothing but arguing. Anyway, it's a, a bad year for politics because everybody's going to be slinging mud for the next year, and you and I are going to be stuck in the middle of it, huh, George? Yeah, we don't like being stuck in the middle of it. Anyway, I mopped the floor today, I cleaned the house, and I just got off the phone. George was talking to his mommy. She's already had her dinner, and she's getting ready for bed, huh, George? You betcha. Anyway, folks... It was just wrong for my wife to have to mail me an anniversary card, and I had to mail her one. And you see hers has happy faces. The very first card she ever sent me, I lived on Riverside Road, and I opened it up, and happy faces fell out all over the place. Well, the same thing happened again. She packed the card full of happy faces. Yeah. Anyway, I wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm getting Valentine's cards. This is from Debbie, or from Diane and Barbara. They're sisters from New Jersey. Thank you, thank you. And this is from Ron and Nella. Thank you, thank you. And they bought me Pizzoli. Tomorrow, I'm going to be going to Hayward, and I'm going to get me a bowl of Pizzoli. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Ron and Nella. Anyway, George. What are you doing over there, buddy? He said, I'm just chilling out, Dad. He said, it's cold outside. Yes, and Hazel's right there, 
And Layla is babysitting Slippy. Yeah. Yeah. I left them in the other room so they weren't a distraction. Yes. Anyway, I'm finding all kinds of treasures from, from my storage unit. This is a solid brass turtle with a carved turtle shell. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. That was in my storage unit. I'm finding all kinds of treasure, huh, George? You betcha. Anyway, folks, this thing's still recording, so I'm going to shut this down. Remember, wash your flippers off and have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Bye.